Yeah. Well, why weren't, why weren't the police doing that very thing and saying, if this was my daughter? I don't know. And, you know, I've spoken out because I wanted to show the country what senior police officers were allowing to happen. And, Maggie, of course, the volume of evidence. We have to say oh that. Now, God. please explain that as well. You know, we had yeah. mountains of evidence, yeah. mountains of it. Um, the evidence for Operation Span had, was there from 2008 and 2009, and the CPS had made the decision that Holly would not make a reliable witness, oh, no. that she was making a lifestyle choice, that, you know, she was a child prostitute and Amber was a madam. Now, it's a fabulous <laughs> line in the drama yeah. when, uh, is it Maxine Peets, yeah. says, there is no such thing as a child prostitute, it is a child who has been abused. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's what you were right in the middle of trying to fight to get people to understand. Yeah, and, you know, people in... Every police officer, when they become a police officer, swears to act with integrity, to protect the vulnerable, to, um, to use the law, to put the bad guys away. Yeah. Mm. Um, even the Chief Constable, even the Assistant Chief Constable, they all start off with those same commitments. So um, how can... What I would always ask myself is, if this was your daughter, if your 12-year-old daughter had been made pregnant by a 40-odd-year-old man with three kids of his own, you know, is that a lifestyle choice? And it, the, the agencies were failing these kids, so who is going to look after them? They are coping to, to even consider arresting a 15-year-old child. Yeah. child. Yeah. She is a victim of abuse. Yeah. And under no circumstances ever would a 15-year-old child be a madam. They are victims of abuse and they are trying to survive when nobody's protecting them. Mm. And I couldn't understand, you, you know, with, with Operation Span, as I got further down the road, these kids are... The, the two children that I was asked to, to engage had been damaged, they'd already been, been damaged. damaged. Yeah. They'd been let down. Maggie, the young girls that are watching this now that have been abused, watching that programme last night, I don't think they'd turn to the police because the police let those girls down time after time. So who would they turn to? I hope that change comes from this. Um, I shouldn't have had to leave my job to get this out into, into the public domain, but... With, when I was doing my job, I tried for over a year. But maybe schools might help, Maggie. Maybe maybe it is time to get in, into the classrooms maybe. and say, you know, there will be someone to turn to, you know, yeah. you will be believed. This, this, this is a time that we need to make change. Yeah. And, you know, because the girls were dismissed, weren't they? And why? Totally. Because they were being judged. And, right. you, uh, and also, you're still very much still vulnerable. There are girls still oh very vulnerable. God. Right across the country, you believe. To, I mean, oh, gosh, to this yeah. sort of to thing. To this day, I'm in touch with those, the girls out the drama. Well, we, we, yeah, both. we both are, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. And, the, you know, they are great kids. Yeah. They've had a rough start in life. Yeah. But that's what makes them victims in the first place. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 